Welcome back, beautiful Tri-State area. You're listening to A Moment of Zen right here on 710 WOR, the voice of New York iHeartRadio. I'm your host, Zen Sams. Welcome back to the Clean Collective segment brought to you by Society Brands, where we spotlight what every household needs to hear. Because in 2025, women's hormones issues, infertility, PCOS, thyroid disorders, estrogen dominance, adrenal fatigue are at an all-time high. The Endocrine Society reports that over 90% of Americans now have measurable endocrine disrupting chemicals in their bodies. Microplastics were recently detected in human blood in breast milk. And this floored me in 65% of placentas studied. And the average home? Wow. It contains more than 700 synthetic chemicals, many of which were never tested for long-term safety. So today's headliner is one that will shake people awake. Your hormones don't stand a chance. The hidden endocrine disruptors in your shampoo, laundry detergents, and air fresheners. And joining us is the viral pharmacist putting truth-telling back into healthcare. Phil Cowley, known to millions as Phil's my pharmacist. He's a nationally recognized pharmacist with 1.2 million followers online and counting, known for making complex health information make sense and sometimes make you laugh. He simplifies medicine, exposes hidden risks in everyday products, and brings practical lifestyle fixes the public can actually use. His expertise sits perfectly at the heart of the clean collective. Phil, welcome to the show, Superstar. Hey, thank you for having me. This is so much fun. It's always so much fun. I can't wait to chat with you. You are the perfect expert on the microphone for this topic. So let's chat the hormone hijackers. So Phil, I want to start with the big headline because people just don't know this, but everyday products, shampoo, conditioners, lotions, scented candles, laundry pods, they're loaded with endocrine disruptors, things like phthalates and parabens and benzene, synthetic musks, fragrance, loopholes. I mean, the list goes on and on. So what are the worst hormone disrupting chemicals hidden in products we use every single day? And what are they actually doing inside our bodies? You forgot about leggings. Did you know leggings shed almost 500,000 particles of microplastics every single day? Like they're one of the biggest ones. And inside there, you have some of the worst players. Because, okay, so phthalates, you've got phthalates, BPA, BPBs. Anything that says BP, is it, it's all terrible. Like it doesn't matter what letter they put. It doesn't matter if it's a B or, or anything else on there. And then you've got parabens. Those are the three big players. And the reason why they're the big players is you are touching them right now. Like guaranteed on your body right now, you are touching the, ph the phthalates, the parabens, and some sort of a BPA, BPB, BPS that is on your system. And each one of those creates massive problems within the hormone realm. And, and it's just starting because they keep getting worse every single year. That's terrifying because most of us are using like 15 to 20 of these products before 9 a.m., and women wonder why their hormones feel out of control. You're getting up in sheets that are spilling out phthalates, which ruin your the way that you process your androgens, right? By the time you put on your first lotions, you've got at least three different types of parabens that create chaos with estrogen and progesterone. And then as soon as you take your first drink of anything, you're going to have some level of a, a PFAS, the forever chemicals that stay with you forever. And those ones stick onto those receptors and don't come off. It's kind of insane how we've allowed all those industries, they managed themselves until the mid 90s. And now we still barely manage them. And, and what they're putting in there, they don't even have to take, they just blame it on us and say, oh, it's your own fault that you've got obesogens and you're getting huge or your thyroid's bad. They know that these chemicals are the reason why we're unhealthy. Wow. Now let's... <sighs> This is flooring me. But the chemical cocktail is really real in our home. And studies are now showing that it's not one chemical, like you said. It's that cumulative effect. I, you walk across the room. You've got a pair of socks on that you use for Pilates. You've got your, you've got your leggings on that, that, that are there for that reason. You've got your air scented going on. You've got your lotion on. Each individual item, they're fine. But once you start making the stew, that, that is not safe. And so if you were to wear one item, it's like a zero. 
You put on five items, it takes your risk tenfold. You put on 20 items. Now that 20 items can be the candle you have in the room, the carpet that's on the floor, the vinyl you have in the kitchen, the shirt that you're wearing. Once you get 10 items, it increases your rate by almost 30% of having some sort of endocrine toxicity. So that's the stew we're talking about. They'll say parabens are safe. Sure, if you live in space and there's one paraben, it's safe. We don't live in space. All of those scents. Have you ever walked in through a crowd and like you can smell everybody's perfume? You're absolutely wrecking your estrogen. And if you're male, you're dropping your testosterone and it, it increases the rate that stem cells become fat cells. It's called an obesogen. And that's part of the reason why people do not lose weight. And I haven't started on the thyroid. There's a reason why one out of three women that are Caucasian and almost that rate in everybody else has thyroid issues. It has to do with what we have around us in our stew. What about precocious puberty? Now I'm starting to really like get paranoid. Our homes are supposed to be our safe space and we're basically marinating in toxins. This is really hitting home. Say that again about our homes. Our homes are supposed to be <laughs> our safe, safe space. Spaces. So in 2020, the rates of precocious puberty had a monstrous jump of almost 30%. And that's because kids stayed home. And when kids stayed home, there's actually two times, 2010, 2020, or two times, we saw huge jumps. And it's because inside our homes, what we've done is our children are starting to progress. And that's their developments in place. And because microplastics are found in testicles and ovaries and everything else, when we keep them inside, they build up. So in 1997, the average age of puberty for girls was 10, 10 and a half. You're about 10 and a half. Today, it's eight. That's not that many years. We're talking... 20, 30 years, and we've seen a drop of two years. There are there are little girls the age of six who are hitting puberty already because of all the toxins around us. And our pets are showing the exact same problems. How do two species have the same problem? Wow. It's got to be environment. Without a doubt. I mean, we used to think microplastics were just a water issue. Now they're found in, in, according to everything you're telling me, in household dust and HVAC units and fabric softeners and makeup and, and even aerosol sprays drifting through the air. And so without a doubt, microplastics and chemical aerosols entering our bodies are having a long-term risk for our developing children. This is, this is really, really shocking. By the end of a year, you've got at least 70,000. That's the very least, 70,000 pieces of microplastic that have gone into your lungs. The problem with the inhaled microplastics, whether it's from aerosol sprays, which, by the way, for the love of Pete, just get rid of all of your aerosol sprays. Please don't ever use them again. But just by bringing those. Now, those little chemicals, because they're so small and they've hit our lungs, they're readily accessible to go into our brain. Every single brain that they autopsy has microplastics inside of it. Every single brain. And that's not coming from what we're drinking. The, drinking is a huge problem. You and I could talk about it for hours. But the ones you breathe in, are the ones that are the worst because they are small and accessible. They go directly into the bloodstream. And that's the way that they plant themselves inside of each one of our tissues. And that is hard to get rid of. In fact, they have no idea once it implants, how do we get it out of a brain? That makes me want to just vacuum detox and throw out all of my cleaning cabinet. But at the same time, there is a saving grace because we are here at the Clean Collective segment and all of the products under Clean Collective, whether it's crunchy, whether it's clonomic, whether it's Primal Life Organics, all of these companies are organic and they've mitigated the risk that we're talking about by allowing us to bring these products into our homes with peace of mind, like Crunchy's EWG Verified. It's organic makeup. I switched this year simply for the, the reasons that we're talking about. So remember when it was like Tide smells fresh and really everything you were sucking in was like changing your hormones. And they're telling you that you have to have these really harsh chemicals to work on your skincare. You don't. Azolytic acid is completely safe. So great for inflammation. Vitamin C serum is fantastic. Bok chew oil instead of retinol. That You can do this stuff. So when you hear like, I know this other stuff doesn't work, just don't believe the hype. You can clean your clothes with plant-based products. It just means that the company has to have responsibility and has to be more about people than it is about profits. I love what you said. Now, whether people believe in chemtrails or not, we absolutely do know that atmospheric pollutants settle onto our skin, like you just said, our hair, our lawns, our playgrounds, and even our pets. I mean, there's, there is 
particulate fallout. And there is aerosolization. There is contamination. So what should families understand about airborne pollutants and how they interact with the chemicals we're already using in our homes? So first of all, there's a, there's a, there's a rule called an 80-20 rule, which means you can get rid of 80% of your toxins, your, your chemtrail, your endocrine disruptors by getting rid of 20% of what you're doing. So we start in the laundry room. Remember when it was used to be cold and you'd run out to where the dryer vent was at because it would feel so nice and warm, you'd stand by it? 700,000 micro, uh, microplastic particles come out of that vent. And so we can get rid of a lot of your exposure by just changing 20% of what you do. Get rid of fragrances. Fragrances are useless. Fragrance should just tell you that there's a problem there. You don't have to smell like a rose to be clean. You can just smell clean, which is nothing on you. You want to make sure that you're not using any plastics inside of your microwave. You want to make sure that you open your windows. If you open your windows for 10 minutes a day, it reduces the number of microplastics inside, the number of hormone disruptors, the number of phthalates in your house by 70% just by opening windows, which is huge. Laundry is where it's important. So find a very clean brand of laundry detergent. It's so easy to switch laundry detergent because it's not an impact you have to do every single day. And that makes a huge difference. And then filter your water. Remember, bottled water and even, bo and even inside of glass bottles have substantially almost tenfold the number of microplastics and forever chemicals than you just filtering the water inside your house. Now, our clean collective partners at Society brands, Crunchy, Clinomic, Primal Life Organics, all exist because consumers are tired of being exposed to chemicals they can't pronounce. But people also feel overwhelmed. They, they don't know where to start, like you said. So thank you for putting that 2080 rule into perspective. But what are the top three swaps every family should make today that give the biggest reduction in endocrine disrupting exposure? Hey, so if you're putting something on your kid's skin, remember... A little bit goes a long way with that. Make sure anything that's in the lotions, anything that you're, because a lot of the teens, they all want to have something they put on their face. Start the simple ways. Watch out for which lotions you put on, which the way that you put on the, whatever shampoo you use, the soaps you use. Those are an easy switch because you just make the one change. It's in your bathroom. It's already done. Number one. Number two, laundry. 100% laundry is so easy for you to make that change on. Laundry, washing your house, things like that. Things that you purchase once a month. Those are a lot easier to change on a regular basis than it is switching from your favorite clothing line because they are super cute when they're the other. I mean, they're harder, you know? So you want to yeah. make sure you make those two changes. And then my biggest change I would tell everybody is get rid of sprays. There's really no reason to do sprays. If you like something, get it in a form where you can put it in your own pump bottle that just puts air with it rather than having all of these aerosols that go with it. I don't ever want to see another child put on a sunscreen that has an aerosol behind it. They don't work and it's causing huge issues. And you know it because if you walk anywhere near it, you're sucking it into your lungs. Wow, that aerosol sunscreen, that's another one. Moms are not realizing it. You're just sitting there. Ksh, you think it's on easy, the but you're not even getting any protection. And you're like getting everybody around you and you go through so much of it. So I, I love that. Keep it simple. Start small, but start strong. And then my favorite also that I started recently doing is I switched the oral dental care. Fluoride is no longer good for you. So that's a major thing. It has a poison control label right behind. I mean, if you flip your Colgate to the back, it says, in, if ingested, call poison control. So why are we allowing our children to use this and brush their teeth when most of these kids are, are ingesting it because they're not spitting it out properly when they're rinsing out? Well, and also, have you ever noticed when you use a lot of those toothpaste, your teeth get more and more sensitive, like you can't eat anything there. It's hard on it. Nanohydroxyapatite does the opposite. So even in your own, your own evidence shows you that nanohydroxyapatite make your teeth feel better, where many of the produced ones that are for oral care, they actually make your mouth, your teeth more sensitive. We should have been taking that as a warning sign. Well, Phil, we are at the end of our date. I, I love talking to you. You need to come on more often. Thank you for breaking this down in a way people can understand and more importantly, act on. Thank you so much. This is so much fun. I love talking to you, Zen. You're the best. To everyone listening, listen, your hormones, your kids, your pets, they're all being affected by the products you use every single day. Like Phil just said, you definitely want to mitigate that damage. So start with even one swap, your laundry detergent, to Phil's point, your skincare. Next your home cleaning products, third. And if you need a place to start, our clean collective partners are at the forefront of toxin-free living. Crunchy, clean beauty without compromise, EWG verified. 
Primal Life Organics, toxin-free oral care and skincare, Clonomic home cleaning that won't poison your home. So take back control of your home, your air, and your hormones. You could follow Phil directly on the gram at Phil's My Pharmacist and across all platforms, TikTok as well. And you could head directly to his website at philsmypharmacist.com. This has been the Clean Collective segment brought to you by Society Brands. Stay clean, stay conscious, stay empowered. You're listening to A Moment of Zen right here on 710 WOR, the voice of New York and beyond. We'll be right back after this. A Moment of Zen is brought to you by Cleanomic. Cleanomic zip bags are certified compostable. They break down into nutrient-rich fertilizer that nourishes the earth. They're BPA-free, so no harmful chemicals leak into your food. Available in snack, sandwich, quart, and gallon sizes. They ship straight to your door. No more store runs. Plus, get free trash bags for life with the subscription. Protect your food and health from hidden microplastic particles by heading to Cleanomic.com today. 